Put your hands together for Bill Mitchell. Oh, nice to be here, folks. And I hope you're feeling good about yourselves tonight. Are you feeling good? I'm feeling good about myself, too. I just did some work for charity. I worked at Telethon, raised over a million dollars for the homeless, but we don't know where to send the money. So it's embarrassing, really. i got to admit, I'm feeling old. I can tell I'm getting old because I caught myself today looking in a minivan thinking, say, that does look practical. Did not succumb to the lure of the minivan upon our recent move to suburbia. We bought the sport utility vehicle, because now we live in the suburbs, so you never know when you're going to have to go off-road to get to Safeway. <laughs> Got a Subaru, which spelt backwards as you're a bus. <laughs> and it's the weirdest car, too. Oh, wait, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's the weirdest car, too, because it's got an airbag and a tilt steering wheel. That's a decision every morning, isn't it? Like, where do I want to take the shot today, huh? <laughs> Take it high, no, take it low, you're doing a show, you know? I like to work in an airbag factory, that'd be a nice job for me, because I'd have fun with my work, you know? Taking some magic markers, make little messages on them. Surprise! <laughs> Tucking a few candies, make it like a pinata. <laughs> and if you get really bored one day at the airbag factory, instead of packing in the bag, you pack in one of those inflatable love dolls. <laughs> yeah, get to a minor fender bender. <laughs> give you something to do while you're waiting for the ambulance to show up. <laughs> then they do show up. They're like, well, no wonder they crashed. What the hell they were up to in there? <laughs> I think we can save her. She looks remarkably lifelike. Clear. <laughs> she looks so surprised. <laughs> oh, not that I'm a big expert on inflatable love dolls. <laughs> but people get killed by their airbags. Have you heard about this? People getting killed by their airbags, that's just not right. They're supposed to be good for you. I mean, getting killed by an airbag is like choking to death on a vitamin tablet. I just know I don't want my last words to be, I need more B-complex. <laughs> Actually, my wife's big into the dietary supplements. Brought home the latest one, not a vitamin, a mineral, chromium. Have you heard about this? Supposedly, if you have a chromium deficiency, some of the symptoms can include very strong chocolate and sugar cravings. And this is so weird, because just the other day, my buddy's telling me about his new girlfriend, who can supposedly suck the chromium off a trailer hitch. <laughs> and I'm thinking the poor deer must have terrible chocolate cravings. I mean, somebody let her know it's available in tablet form, because that can't be hygienic. You know? <laughs> I'm getting more concerned about nutrition myself, mainly for the kids, right? I'm trying to raise the kids on organic vegetation, but you know how much that stuff costs, right? So I'm trying to get my little organic uh, vegetable garden growing at home, but uh, all I seem to be doing is weed whacking, because evidently you can't just douse the yard and round up and call it organic anymore. <laughs> so I still have to go to the organic farmer's market to get my produce, and if you haven't been to an organic farmer's market lately, go. It's a great source for fruits and vegetables and nuts and flakes, and, and, and that's just the staff. But um, <laughs> I'm down there the other day, and I noticed they're selling organically grown dandelion greens. Dandelion greens for $3.99 a bunch. So first off, I feel like an idiot because I've just weed whacked about eight grand in my backyard. <laughs> but now my interest is piqued because it occurs to me if they're selling these greens in this market, somewhere out there is a dandelion farmer. <laughs> Can you imagine an easier gig in agriculture? Just this guy going, well, the long, harsh winter is finally over. <laughs> The fields are plowed and ready to plant. <laughs> Wake me when the checks roll in. <laughs> I am getting older, though. I can tell I'm getting older because I'm getting more lazy. I'm so lazy I just bought a new fire alarm with a snooze button on it. <laughs> I'm not getting up until it's a three alarm blaze. <laughs> I hate getting up early in the morning. I'm one of those crack and noon team kind of guys, you know? That alarm goes off before 11, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, honey. I just misjudged the reach on that little sucker, don't I? It's a joke for crying out loud. I would never strike my wife, because she'd kick my ass, basically. And, and not right away, either. She'd let it simmer a couple weeks, catch me off guard. Want to make love? Sure. Oh. I'll come with the alarm clock. Now, my wife's an incredibly powerful woman, not just physically, but spiritually, emotionally, the whole package. She's so much in charge of the relationship. I'll give you an example. We're in a bar together a few weeks ago, and this guy calls me Pussy Whipped. I said, I am not, am I, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> Pussy Whipped. 
pussy whip. I don't even know what the expression means. And I know that pistol whip means getting hit in the face repeatedly with a pistol. <laughs> Finish your own joke. Thank you. Good night. Sure.